we're moving into our grand finals here. We're going to be having Mystery Racer. I just noticed his title says Just As Calculated. Is it really? His title really is Just As Calculated. We're having Mystery Racer go up against Griever 12. That's Griever, uh, with this I guess Ruby, you know, he's really made it work for him in this tournament. The neutral control that he's able to play with Igus, but also his mix on both sides has really been a key factor for him in his matchups. And then we have Mystery Racer, the master detective with the Susano tank in front. He kills the Susano, he just started playing the game, he activates the resonance, and it's all according to Keikaku from there. Mystery Racer <laughs> on runner's side, which way is this gonna go? Round start scenario, what are we doing? Back it up, we know Susano got the button. It's true, that is a really hard <laughs> button to contest the mouse start, so... <laughs> right, and Dreamer getting opened up. Yeah, and as mentioned in the chat, which is actually something I forgot, this is a run-back set. When these two first played, it was 3-0 on Mystery Racer's side. Oh wow, okay. We're in his final, yeah. so... And it's kind of, it's kind of looking similar right now. Yeah, Mr. Racer's a little bit of a, uh tiny blow on his Susana so far as he's already killed a character and is threatening to kill another one. Mm. Oh, wasn't yeah. looking for I mean, that's super scary to block, right? Because he has, like, the low coming in and then he's instantly air dashing with Naoto. I'm sure he could... Is, is that blockable, actually? Um, I don't think so, uh, simply because uh, since you have to air dash with Naoto with it not being an instant overhead, um, I think that there's time to properly block the low and then block the high before it okay. actually hits. But it's going to be super, super tight. I see. Okay. But there might be, like, theoretically scenarios with no push block that he can set up a scenario where he is doing the, um, the uh, lows with Susano and be enraged for an overhead with Naoto. I can uh, see it. I think the only actual um, unblockable they could do with that team... Uh, would probably be to do the Susano low into 5C with Naoto, um, or you might be able to do the uh, the Naoto um, the Naoto kick into Susano's 2A. Um, I think those are going to be the only like true unblockable. With that team. I see. Okay. Good to note. Griever decides that after four games he's going to try something completely different here, and he's going with a completely new comp. So he has Heart and Elizabeth. <laughs> Which I will say, I've never seen. <laughs> I've never, never seen this team before in my life. <laughs> Ever. But you know, so as an Elizabeth player, here's one thing that I'm going to know about this. So Elizabeth's 5B is amazing for characters that just kind of want to um, rush you down and do all sorts of high-low mix-ups, which Heart is one of those characters. So I can actually really see this composition working really well. Very cool. And I mean, like, another thing uh, is definitely you can see that he's just kind of being a nuisance against Susano here. Of course, that also can set up no fly zones with the traps, but he's being a nuisance and kind of abusing the fact that Susano is such a big boy and just flying around to get some really nice hits on Susano. As you can see with the empty jump low there, he's just swiping at nothing. Whoa, I think he had a lot of Whoa. big damage here, but he's gonna get even bigger damage on the happy birthday. Hello? Right? Or are you and the cash? Yeah, I mean, not a bad idea. Now it's so scary. But has Mystery Racer just started playing the game? I believe he has. No. <laughs> so the round, so we've seen him do the comebacks at least three times. <laughs> but this may not be a timer who gets to do so now. This team hurts, man. Oh, oh man, we no. dropped the combo. All right. Is it all according to Keikaku? It is on that air dash. Goes straight into the trap, has a bark up on heart. Heart stop. It's the 2B. It's. And he lost the ball. And the dead Has he just started playing the game? I asked again. I think he has. And there we go. Shooting Elizabeth with everything he possibly has. As a Liz player, this is actually a hard match. Oh, oh my god, and he gets the throw. Won't be able to kill with this combo. But I ask again, has he just started playing the game with the Whiskey P but not able to punish? I think he oh, has to play all oh, and there it is. Yo, the 2 and 4 a with Liz when it's in uh when it's in uh, Awakening, such a good move. So good. It goes full screen, 
And uh, one thing that a lot of people may not know is as the persona is moving across the screen, it's invincible. Ah, see, yeah, I was not aware of that for sure. <laughs> not a lot of Elizabeths that have been able to fight. Um, so yeah, some great matchup knowledge. That was exactly what he needed in that situation to escape the Kekaku master himself, Mystery Racer, with the solo Naoto. Man, like, he... <sighs> I don't know how he does it, like, really when he has this old Naoto, the violence he's able to get with just Naoto is really it's nice. Insane. It's insane. It, it, it's like, he, it's on the brink, so we're just like, he's at Magic Pixel and they were both at full life, he's like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> right. I got this, that's cool, don't worry about it. We were able to keep this cool, and I would say this heart, Elizabeth, uh, otherwise, despite the Naoto runback, has really been working out for him, you know? Um, really? Oh, did you see what he just did? Dude, Susano's a big boy. Like, I think this might be a pretty bad match for Susano all to finish. Like, really the is. heart has really just been able to run a terror on him. Um, so I think Mr. Racer does have another team. I wonder if he's thinking of opting for that, but we'll see. We'll have to see. And I think the thing to note, too, is uh, Susano's actual anti-air is actually pretty slow. So uh, he actually has to respect all this mix-up heart. I think that's what makes this a hard match for him. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Ooh, you see him uh, having to respect- Oh, wow, what a great uh, DP bait there. Wasn't able to get a lot of medals off of it, but, you know, the mind game is there. Absolutely, and, you know, if he if he was a, you know, a seasoned list player, he could have killed Susano easily. He could have gotten the 5A, uh, gone into Awakening, and then just killed the player. I see. So... I don't know if Elizabeth needs to die there. I guess he was comfortable with Elizabeth dying there. I think he could have bursted and had Heart survive, just based off of where the combo was. But yeah, it's gonna be um, a game up for Mystery Racer there. Uh, so it'll be 2 1. 1. I'm really liking it, but wow, like, now I wanna try Heart Liz. <laughs> Yeah, right? It's been uh, working very well for him, but just like, I mean, I guess just the presence of being able to fly around and having Zeo on your side, like, I, I guess that's a nice thing to have. Uh, you know, um, Blackie Chan, he does play the um, uh, the Heart Adachi, which is kind of a similar concept. So maybe kind of emulating that type of team structure with this uh, Heart Elizabeth? I don't know, Absolutely. but... So oh. like, one, thing, one thing you'll note about a lot of Elizabeth teams um, is that a lot of times they're very front heavy and they're they're basically built for Liz to enable the, the point character even more than they already would have been able to. Um, and so you'll see that with a lot of Elizabeth team composition. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can see that he's replacing Elizabeth with another Persona 3 character. He's going to be going with Heart Igus. And um, typically he starts Aegis point, going to have her benched for the uh, heart point, which I don't disagree with. Heart's been getting a lot of mileage on Susano, but he is locked into this team. So he is going to have to beat Mystery Racer twice in order to reset the bracket. Um, tournament point here for Mystery Racer, let's see what we got. <laughs> Alright, Mystery Racer, finally trying oh, to change the battle a little bit. Shot of that no also assist and getting a hit on Susano. Heart's going in. He's going in. Throw. That oh no, he used the wrong assist. He wasn't able to punch the bird. That's unfortunate. Yikes. Reaver trying to maintain the pressure here with beams and everything. He wants to really just kind of bully his way into getting a dead character here. Right. You can see he runs right, up nice. and does the button after blocking. Yes. And he'll get a kill! That's what he was looking for, and that's what he was able to get. We were playing no games with this comp. Active cross combo? Yes! And he puts Mystery Racer in a scenario that will hit. But... Has... He... Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just hit charges up the 5B, I like it! But he got the combo in the end, that was unfortunate. Mystery Racer is going to get another chance at life here, but it's going to be rough. The resonance, resonance is done. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay, even yeah, absolutely. the Kaku Master himself wasn't able to survive heart air buttons. And yeah, he'll be trying to get the 2-2. So we have a, another close set here. A lot of the last sets have been super close. Um, it's going to be 2-2 where we're either looking at the end of the tournament or a reset bracket. Hey, so let's see. Let's see what happens. You know, do you think... Uh... Mystery Racer will make some changes to the team, or do you think he'll stick with Susano? 
I think he's in a position where if he wants to switch characters right now, he absolutely can do so. It's Reaver that has to reset the bracket. It just fully depends on his confidence on being able to adapt in one game. But he has all the information he needs. It's basically with Naoto, who does he want to play on point to try to counter what Griever is throwing at him? Maybe a hey. shorter character? Who knows? <laughs> but it looks like he might be thinking about it. Absolutely. You know, he's definitely taking his time, you know, getting back into the match. So it is definitely a high possibility that he may be switching out Susano. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, I think he does Naoto Naoto? Yeah. Naoto Naoto, okay. Oh, man, you guys are putting a lot of pressure on me to refer to them as Kurogane and Shirogane, but I'll try my damn best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the that's the smart way to do it. Or you can just do Naoto K Naoto S. That's a good point, too. That's a good point, too. I think I'm going to get Titan. I'm going to be like, Naoto S, Kurogane, Naoto K, Naoto, 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 Naoto. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to try Shirogane and Kurogane. You're free to do whatever works best for you, but this cool. will be our... Um, Deciding match hero, if we're going to be having some more matches or if this is the end of the tournament. Here we go. And I like him going with I like him going with that for that reason right there. Now he has a good assist to stop Heart from just flying around in the air. So I like that. Yes. Alright, just DP for Kuro got it. Another DP for Kuro got it, and it does move forward, so it was actually kind of hard for Reaver to even attempt a punish there. Absolutely. Ooh, snap out of the air. Oh, I'd like to see Mystery Racer trying to uh, 2D against Heart a little bit more. Um, it seems like he's trying to contest her in the air, and that's what she wants. You're gonna get hit if you're trying to follow her. Yes, I gotta say, that was almost a really good confirm there from uh, Kuro got it with Mystery Racer in the corner. Just wasn't quite able to steal it out. Oh, he goes for a mix, and Kuro needs a lot of burst. His heart is bleeding, and he's able to hit both characters. Reaver in a pretty good position here. All right. Oh, he called that out a little bit too early. Oh, he almost had the first bait. Oh my gosh, wait, that was really unfortunate for Reaver. He called the assist a little bit too early, and it used this gauge. I don't think he wanted to do that. He wanted to set up a cross combo situation there. Mystery Racer in his most threatening position, and he only has to take out one. Gonna get the mark there on Griever, sitting on five bars. What's Griever gonna do? Activate the resonance, instantly puts you in. Yeah, I mean, oh my god. He's yeah. dead, Yeah, that's gonna be game, and Mystery Racer steals it. Also according to plan, he will be your champion for the BB Tag and Show 420 edition. Good stuff to Mystery Racer, selling it out from winner's side with the Kurogane Shirogane team. No, that, that was really sick. Like, I love how this time, after he did the first hummon, he went in, and he's like, I'm not even going to press buttons, I'm just going to hummon again. And, uh, you know, it, that got him to stay in the corner, in which case he was able to get the throw reject and uh, seal it up. So good stuff there to Mr. Yeah, and it's all the run from him. Uh, just and went aside the entire time. Uh, good stuff to Griever though, making those uh, adaptations and even the team swap to try to take out Mystery Racer. Um, you know, like we said before, the last set was a 3-0. So for him to kind of um, seal it up and make it at least a 3-2, you know, that's improvement. And the character swap really uh, played a big role in that game as well. So good stuff to all the participants here. I once again 